Hi, you're in Steve's Kitchen. Well, you're not really in Steve's Kitchen because today's episode is not a standard cooking recipe where we filmed it nice and tight. This one, we've been invited into a wonderful restaurant in Malaysia on the island of Penang. Uh, our hosts are Nick and his mum. Uh, the restaurant is called Perit Rumor and they are gonna show us how to make Nonya fried chicken, which is so delicious. It's packed full of flavor. So bear with us, the shooting angles are not as tight as normal, but I still think it makes an interesting video recipe. Now we will be doing this recipe as part of a Malaysian cooking series, so a little bit tighter and a little bit more simple. But in the meantime, I hope you'll enjoy this particular episode. Let's get into the Perit Rumor restaurant and learn about Nonya fried chicken. I am super excited today. We are in Peri Rumor. This is a Nonya uh, cuisine experience here in Penang. I, I had food here the other day and I just had to come back and share with you some of the recipes because they are outstanding. But just, just come through here a moment because the heart of any great kitchen revolves around the family and the chefs that work here. And this, this is mum. And she is the inspiration, I think, and the, the, the heart of this kitchen. So today I've been cooking her recipes and I'm so, so uh, honored just to be in this kitchen today. So we've got 1.5 kg of chicken pieces and they've just been uh, cut up. And then we are going to be infusing all these beautiful flavors. Now Nick's been really great. He's written on the side of each of the little jars here so I know what I'm using. This is the cumin and it's a powdered cumin, one teaspoon. I'll go through those with you in a moment. We've got some coconut cream and then we've got some more shallots, fresh curry leaves. Nothing beats fresh curry leaves and some beautiful red chilies. Now are these are sort of medium medium heat or very hot these ones? Uh, this is medium, not very hot. Yeah. We are going to start by mixing our seasonings, our spices together. I've got one teaspoon of uh, cumin powder, one teaspoon of powdered coriander, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of fennel. I, I like it spicy, so we're going to go with two teaspoons of chili, one over here, one over there, just to remind me. Clove is very intense, so we're just going to take maybe about quarter of a teaspoon of clove. We're going to put two teaspoons of turmeric in there and cinnamon. Now again, we're going to go with just half. It's quite intense, so we'll just go with half a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to put some sweet sugar in there. A couple of teaspoons of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, about a teaspoon, maybe just a little bit under. So you see our shallots here. We've taken six of them and we've just blended them down to a beautiful creamy texture like that. Okay, so that just goes in there. Seven tablespoons of coconut milk. About 100 ml. About 100 milliliters. Let's just mix those together. Getting a beautiful marinade now for the chicken. Look at that. Got all that lovely flavor. Now we're gonna take our chicken pieces. So all the chicken's going in there. Now I am gonna use my hands. So then just get your hands in and we really want to coat this chicken over. Get some three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of corn flour. Yes. Sprinkle it over. This is gonna help thicken the, uh, the, yeah. the sauce. Yeah, when yeah. fry it, it'll be crispy. Yeah. Uh, yes. Curry leaves in now. Five or one. On. Two. So the curry leaves, oh, smell those curry leaves. Yeah. If you haven't cooked with curry leaves before, you really should try it. So I'm just gonna get in there now and coat this over. Ordinarily, this would be left to infuse all the flavors for at least four hours, ideally overnight. And then the chicken, all those flavors get right into the chicken, they impregnate the skin. And when you fry this, it's gonna be absolutely delightful. Now, luckily for me, Nick has prepared one earlier, yes? yes so we're gonna set this one aside. Now, before we fry our chicken, we're just gonna prepare a dipping sauce. So we take shallots, about six, and we just, uh, Slice like, uh, like this. So let's take those onions, just pop them into uh, the bowl here. Do we want to break them up a little bit or? It's okay. okay. So we've taken one of our, our chilies here and just slice down and just remove the seeds from the inside. And then you're going to uh, slice. slice it. So we've got our sliced red chilies just going in there as well. Okay, so we're gonna add a teaspoon of mustard powder in there. We're putting in Worcester sauce, Liam Pering sauce. We're probably going with about quarter to half a cup. Two tablespoons of sugar just to add a sweetness. Two tablespoons. 
Okay, so about four, yeah. four, four and a half, one, two. So a couple of tablespoons yeah, sugar, that should be enough. So we added a little more chili. Nick and I decided we wanted more chili to be flowing through that. And you can see now just how beautiful the color is. Now we've come through into the kitchen and Nick and I are gonna fry off the uh, Nonya fried chicken. NFC. NFC, Nonya fried chicken, copyright. All rights reserved. So we've got the, the pan of oil just come up to heat. Wants to be about four inches deep, really. Want to be able to drop the chicken right into it. Of course, you can do it in a regular frying pan, but it's nice in the wok. Gonna drop the first one in. We're just looking for a little sizzle. Chicken's gonna drop to the bottom. You want that really hot oil. It should be bubbling away like that. Want a nice crispy skin. Look at this coming out now. I just want to actually show you what, uh, what surroundings we're in as well, because um, Peraruma is not only a great restaurant, but it's a historical restaurant. If you look in here, just look at some of the beautiful pieces they've collected. The tiffinware is second to none. They've got a beautiful collection of tiffinware. I know that uh, Nick told me before, these were his first pieces that inspired him to start collecting this uh, enamelware. All right, I'm gonna take a, a piece of this, this Nonya fried chicken. Now, look, got a beautiful, crispy outer layer and all those flavors. Mm. Right. It's moist, oh, it's delicious. I'm so lucky. Now, if you think that chicken was packed full of flavor, there's another episode very similar to this we'll be doing with a rice dish, which is just to die for. It is so delicious. So I hope you'll enjoy that one. It'll be coming up in a later episode on Steve's Kitchen. So subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think of this. Be good, and we'll see you shortly.